Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Joe and in this video right now is Mr. Ben. Today, we're bringing you two different haircuts in the same video, comparing a classic piece to a more modern piece. We tried making the styling process similar in both so that you can see what a difference it can make to have two different types of haircuts. We're starting out with the classic. For this first cut, Ben has super long hair going past his chin and he's getting a cut by a barber who only does classic cuts. He's been cutting hair for over 30 years and specializes on traditional styles. Like I said, Ben's hair was very long at the start and his fringe is being reduced to about four to five inches in length. And since this is a traditional cut, for this first hairstyle, we're not gonna make the sides very short. Taking out the razor to fix up around the ear area and clean up the sides and back. What's cool is that Ben has been given a haircut that complements his face structure and hair texture the best. This means that he doesn't actually need to use a blow dryer with this cut. Instead, he's able to manipulate his hair with product alone. For this cut, we'll be going through with a round of original Bob Blumon, and for the second cut, I'll be showing you guys a new product. classic side part is done. Moving on to our second haircut. This is taking place in Boss the Grooming House located in Birmingham, Michigan. It's a really cool place and if you'd like some more info make sure you check out the description down below. We've got our guy Mason cutting hair and now we'll be going for the more contemporary look by taking the sides and back shorter than the previous cut. Remember, we're going for a similar style, but the two different haircuts make a huge difference. Sectioning off the sides and back to pinpoint exactly where the hair needs to be cut off. Starting off with a razor, we're going from a number two and slightly fading upwards. Switching to scissors to continue the cut, scissors allow for a more customized and gradual fade. And for the top, Mason is using a technique that produces texture throughout while reducing length slightly. However, we're not taking too much length off the top. The point is to match the same length as in the classic cut that happened just before. Now the second haircut is done and we're moving on to the blow drying and styling. Putting in the final touches and cleaning up. 
And now we're going in with a limited product called Prelude. This is actually a product made by one of our home brewer friends, and it's a unique take on a clay product. It's actually sold out at the moment, but Wade, the guy who made it, specializes in unique pomade formulas, and I'll link you to some of the stuff that he's made in the description down below. It's a collaborative product made between Wade and also our friend James the Pomp. He has his own channel. And with all that being said and done, the haircut and style is finished. Other than the fact that Ben is clearly using his feet to spin in a circle, I think it turned out pretty well. What do you prefer, the classic or modern? Well, 